NPC, along with RTI, recently did a study in the Journal of Managed Care Pharmacy looking at what types of evidence payers use. And what we found is that payers are all over the map in the type of evidence that they use. Some use predominantly randomized controlled trials, others use observational studies, and others use a mix. We conducted a second study looking to see what type of value judgments payers make to come to a final formulary decision. And in this second study, we looked at the main types of evidence, efficacy, safety, and cost, to try to understand if there is a clear rationale for how formulary decision makers make their evidence adjust decisions, how transparent they are, and how consistent they are from one time to another. What we found is that, as you would expect, with greater efficacy, so if a product that has great efficacy is more likely to get better formulary access than a product with little efficacy. Similarly, if there was high safety concerns, then pairs were less likely to put them on high-tier formulary. Cost also was important, so things trended in the right direction. The other thing that we found is that in diseases where there aren't a lot of treatment alternatives, those treatments were more likely to be on a low-tier formulary status, such as Tier 2 or Tier 3. Products where there were lots of treatment alternatives were much more aggressively uh, put on formulary. Understanding how decisions are made on what's going to be covered in your drug benefits is really important to patients. When you sign up for a plan, you want to know that treat diseases that you might have might be covered in a way that you would expect. For the biopharmaceutical industry, the more clarity there is in what types of information are most important for formulary decision making, the better they can actually identify and develop that evidence for payers.